Hey folks, Jeremy Nakovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And today we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we're taking a look at the sector compass and solar angles, as well as solar rise and fall for both the winter and the summer sun on the winter and summer solstice. So there's lots of tools out there on the internet to work with uh, angles and solar aspects. What I like to use is sunearthtools.com. If you have another tool you enjoy, please do go with that. I'm not saying this is the best one. Once Sun Earth Tools comes up, you'll want to go to Sun Position. Sun Position will bring up either a general search, so I can search Calgary, Alberta, and then hit the enter button, or I can go and put in the UTM or the Latin long. So if you have those coordinates, you can put them in as well and search them. Now, because this hasn't taken me exactly where I uh, know that my site is. I'm just going to move my point up here and need to get in a little closer. And we're getting up to it now. And right there. Awesome. So once you click on your spot, you're going to pull up all of the data for that site. Now, how to read these outputs is uh, not hard, but a bit of a skill. So what this is doing is this is showing us if this is the earth and say we were standing right here and I'll just draw a little, uh, a little guy here, a little person. So, oh, and yellow is not the right color for contrast. So say we had a person here, here's their nose. We're looking at them from the, the top of their head down. So bird's eye view, they were standing right here during summer solstice at 50 degrees on the horizon, the sun would rise. And then at 310 degrees on the horizon, the sun would set. And then our zero to 90 is how high up on the horizon the sun is during that time. So basically what this is saying is that here we've got um, 90, 80, 72 about. So basically it's saying that this angle comes up to 72 degrees, 72 degrees between here and here. So already for the summer solstice, we have the three numbers we're looking for, which is during the height of noon, during the summer solstice, the sun is at 72 degrees. Again, we have 90, 80, 70, 60. So same thing on the other side, 90, 80, 70, 60. So maybe I did that wrong. Maybe that was uh, 62. Hold on. Let's try again. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I was wrong. 62. There you go. 62. 62 degrees on the horizon. And then if we take a look at the winter solstice, uh, the sun rises at about 130 on the horizon and about 230 degrees. And it gets to a height of 10 Let's call it about 15, 16, 16 degrees. Now, you can get the exact numbers uh, if you put in every single date you want to check up here. So you can put in the exact date. So you can put in the solstice for this year and you can put in the solstice for winter and for summer. Uh, but I find that, that this chart in particular is good enough for all I'm doing. So with those numbers, I can then go back to my sector map and start to put in my sum, my summer and my winter sectors. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna find a little compass rose, uh, compass protractor here, right in the corner of the sector map. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna put that onto a blank slide just so I can work with it. I'm gonna make it roughly the same size as my um, winter and summer sun angles. I'm gonna grab both of those, I'm gonna cut them, command X, command V, paste them. And then I'm gonna put them as centered as I can. Cause what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take those numbers and translate them. So going back over, we've got again, 50 for summer solstice and 120 or 110, pardon me. So we're going to click on summer and then grab the little orange uh, extender and that'll extend it to 50 because there's our 50 mark and then I can take this extend it to, to 110 there's my 110 mark then I'm going to click on the winter angle go back over 
Winter angle is 130 and 230. So 130 and 230. Great. Now I can take my compass and move it over to the side. Take my compass and move it over to the side. So I just got to make sure we got the compass there. There we go. Great. Grab my summer and winter sun sectors, bring them back in and then align them again. And right now I'm using just my arrow keys. And there we go. They are perfectly situated. Now, when I come down and pull my, uh, my summer and my winter back to my, here we go. Back to my set, I will have to put in all those numbers so that way it uh, completely matches with my angles. And in the next video, we're going to talk about making sure that you've got your cross section for your summer and winter angles. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.